Hello there, it's me, Sari here again, and today I'm here with a small scrap haul from Scrap Broke It. I just couldn't resist getting myself some new stencils. So I've got something here from Dutch Doobadoo, and I haven't got the name for it, but it could have been perhaps Sunburst or something. So I thought I'd just try these out in a second or two. And then I decided on trying out a new brand. Could it be Pronti from the Netherlands? And it looks like this. It's a really funky tree looking thingy there. And then there's a herringbone thingy here. Same company. Pronti. And then there is something that is called, I think this one was called Bubble. And as you can see, it's rather big. It's an A4 size bubble. And they are still in this in this place. If, if I want to you pick them out, I just have to pick and poke a little. And then there is the lines. So let's see if I can make these work. And before I go ahead, I thought I'd let you in on the fact that Tim Holtz has released another set of these beautiful butterfly dies. It's a combo set of dies because here's the de detailed dies and here are the background dies and in this case I just die cut them out of red cork and just by turning it over like this you could actually just perhaps glue it down in the center and if you had used paper or something you could just fold up the wings and you, and you could get a two colored butterfly like so and there's the, uh, the other one. So these are really handy in size and everything. So I really couldn't resist those, now could I? So those are called, let's see. Detailed Butterflies Mini. Detailed Butterflies Mini. But what I thought was that I'll just see if I can go ahead and work with these new stencils. I'm just using some envelopes here just to see where I'll end up. And I'll just go ahead with my brushes and my Distress Oxide ink because I really like using these. So here's the herringbone and just by brushing on a little bit of ink like this I get this result. And of course I could go through with some gesso or texture paste or something similar I could. Let's see, if I just keep it in the red colour sheen and just Paint it in like this. I really do like this method. I have become quite fascinated just by using stencils and brushes in order to create some texture. And this is sort of what I like to do apart from stamping, collage stamping and such. So I'm just going to keep the stencil in place and use the brush like this to add on some colour really nice and what I like about the brush is that you can actually sort of control where you're ending up with the inks so in this case I'm just going to put it over here hopefully you can see it so here we have it it's a sort of mishmash of textures there now and let's see if I can make it work with the stripe one and I can actually just make them go in that way and it's important to just keep the stencil in place I believe there we have it and then there's the final one the bubble one I really fell in love with this one I really like that one so let's see what it'll, it'll look like look at that really nice and if you were inclined to make use of all of these things let's say I were to make a background piece of paper for a card or something perhaps I could just use a butterfly there and have a text or something just to keep it cohesive so you see that the red color really works with this technique there as well so that's all from me I love stencils and I love brushes and I do like the Distress Oxide inks as well from Tim Holtz and Ranger. I'm going to sign off right now. Bye bye.